more. Costly Catherine is too costly for Nevada. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize it's not death. Sad news in the entertainment world. We have just learned Grammy-winning rapper Coolio has died. TMZ is reporting the rapper, whose real name is artist Leon Ivey Jr., died at his friend's home in Los Angeles. Coolio came up on the L.A. rap scene in the late 80s, but blew up nationally in 1995 when he recorded Gangster's Paradise for the soundtrack of the film Dangerous Minds. The song reached number one and stayed there three weeks. Coolio was 59 years old. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, man, yeah, rapper Coolio has died. You know, another judgment that the Lord put on. All right. And, um, you know, just a quick testimony. Um, you know, Coolio came out in the 80s, but he made it big in the 90s, you know. And in the 90s, I was a kid, you know, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. I was seven, six years old then. I was a kid then. And, um, you know, uh, one of the main... Uh, you know, songs that I recognize him from was uh, See You When You Get There and um, Keenan and Cal. You know, the intro. He did, uh, you know, he did a rap, little rap intro for Keenan and Cal. The show they used to be on. And uh, Keenan and Cal, they used to come on on um, Nickelodeon. And, um, yeah, man, he died. Um, we're going to read because, you know, I know a lot of brothers got questions. And they probably wondering what he died from. Well, in this, they say he died from a heart attack. Pretty much, that's pretty much what he died from. He had cardiac arrest. He died from a heart attack. And now, uh, you know, we're going to get some scriptures. Well, first we're going to read this, and then we're going to pull out some scriptures through the Spirit. And uh, Lord willing, this, this lesson is edifying. It says, Coolio, Gangster's Paradise Rapper, dead at 59. So this lets you know, man. Again, you know, the elders of Apostle Great Millstone said this. You know, I'm even saying it. All right. We have seen a lot of deaths this year. All right, with a lot of particular individuals. All right, we've seen all these deaths take place, and um, you know, you never know when your time. That the scary thing is that you don't know when your time is up. That's why, again, you want to, you know, if you're in this truth, it's a blessing you're in it, and you want to take advantage of it while you can. You know, doing the works of the Lord, because you know, Coolio and all these other rappers, you know, all these other celebrities, they ain't did nothing for the Lord. They have nothing to show to the Lord. All right. And that's why if you're in this truth, you want to be sh showing yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. All right. So uh, let's get to it. It says Coolio, the 90s rapper who lit up the music charts with hits like Gangster Paradise and Fantastic Voyage has died. His friend and his manager, Jerez Parsi, told CNN he was 59. He's only 59 years old, man. So it don't matter how old you are, man. If the Lord want to take you out. He can take you out. When it's time to go, it's time to go. So that's why while you're living in this mortal body, you want to be doing all the works you possibly can. Any free time you have, you want to be doing a lesson because you want to show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. All right. These rappers and these celebrities, they have nothing to show to the Lord. They did all this worldly shit, but they did nothing for the Lord. You know, but right now, Coolio's in the spiritual world. You know, he's in the spiritual realm. And he's just at rest right now. He's just resting. All right. Because he's not in hell. All right. He's just resting in the spiritual realm. The rest of, like the rest of these celebrities are. It says, Posey said Coolio died in the afternoon hours local time in Los Angeles on Wednesday. All right. And that's today. It says details on the circumstances were not immediately available. It says Coolio grew up in Compton, California. According to his according to a bio on his official website, speaking to the Los Angeles Times in 1994, 
He recalled falling into a drug scene but getting himself out by pursuing a career as a firefighter. It says, I wasn't looking for a career. I was looking for a way to clean up, a way to escape the drug thing. Because he was, he did, he did do drugs, you know. He was a drug addict. He did drugs a lot. It says he told publication it was going to kill me and I knew I had to stop. And firefighting training was discipline I needed. He, he says we ran every day. I wasn't drinking or smoking or doing that stuff I usually did. His rap career began in the 80s and he gained fame in the underground scene. Fantastic Voyage was the first song that that really put him on the map. It says arguably the biggest song, Gangster's Paradise, from the soundtrack to the film Dangerous Minds, grew his star power and gagnated his his proportions pro proportions it says he won a grammy in 1996 and damn 1996 i was four years old then in 1996 it says in the age of streaming it has continued to live on it says in july 2022 the song reached uh, a milestone 1 billion views on youtube it says it's one of those kinds of songs that transcends generation he said in his recent interview I didn't use any Trini words. It says, I think it made it timeless. Over his career, Coolio sold more than 17 million records, according to his website. Coolio also has a special place in his hearts of some millionaires for his work on the theme song for the popular Nickelodeon TV series, Keaton and Kel. Remember, I was just talking about that earlier. I remember that, you know, Nickelodeon. It says, and his contribution to the film Dexter's Laboratory, the hip hop experiment, which figured songs by various hip hop artists that were inspired by the Cartoon Network animated series. Uh, let's, I'm going to read right here, then I'll stop. You know, brothers can read the rest of it. It says, in recent years, Coolio enjoyed the perks of being a no- nostalgic feature, making television appearances on shows like Celebrity Cook Off and Celebrity Chop. He also had a show on on Oxygen, Coolio's Rules, that aired in 2008. Now, if you want to read more, there's more about it. Oh, that's basically that was it on it. But yeah, long story short, man, Coolio basically died. Um, it didn't say in here, but um, you know, details say that he died of a heart attack. Um, if you look up, look more into it, you know, you can be able to find that information where he died from. But um. Rumor has it they say that he died from a heart attack. It didn't say it in that article, but I'm trying. I can't find the article where it said he died. What he died of, but he died of a heart attack. He was found dead in the restroom at his friend's house. So, you know, pretty much reading, you know, that article. We just gonna go to the scriptures though. And this is why I say, at the end of the day, you don't know when your time is up. So if you're in the truth, you want to be. You know, so number one, it's a blessing because you're in the truth and you know the name of the Lord. And you want to be doing as much labors as you can because you were doing this for the will of the Heavenly Father. And these celebrities, they're just dying rampantly. All right. These celebrities, they're just dying rampantly. And this is Deuteronomy 30 and 15. It says, see, it says, see, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. See, so the Lord is in power of life, good, death and evil. The Lord is in control of all things. Because a lot of people say Satan this and Satan that. Satan doesn't do anything. Satan is a, is an angelic tool used by the Heavenly Father to do his will. All right. And when you read Job, the first chapter, and I think it's the second chapter, when the Lord says, Whence comest thou, Satan? He said, I'm, you know, I come and fro, I'm coming in and fro throughout the earth. So he's basically telling the Lord, I'm doing what you command me to do, Lord. I'm coming in in the earth. I'm I'm calling ruck, I'm causing ruckus here and there. I'm doing what you commanded me to do, Lord, because Satan is in total order. He obeys everything the Heavenly Father tells him. All right, and that's basically what Satan is. Satan, he ain't going up there killing people and doing this and just causing ruckus on his own. No, he's getting permission from the Heavenly Father first before he do anything. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, "See now that I." It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, I kill. See, the Lord kills. 
the Lord kills. When the Lord puts judgment on you, however you however you die in this mortal body, that is judgment of the Heavenly Father, the Lord. All right, that is judgment of the Lord, and you can't escape it. It says, and I make alive. So the Lord, it says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. The Lord kills. The Heavenly Father in the Bible, whose true name is Yahweh. Yah means he. Yahweh means to be, exist, he is. Bahashem coming in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means Savior deliver. The Lord kills. The Lord killeth and he makes us alive. You know, um, 2 Samuel uh, 2 and 6. You know, 2 Samuel 2 and 6 even says that. And let me get that out, actually. Let me get that. Because I actually missed that precept. And I should have got that precept out. So we get that out for edification. This is 2 Samuel 2 and 6. All right. Everything I'm saying is in the scriptures. All you got to do is go into the scriptures. This is 2 Samuel. It's like your 1 Samuel. I said 2 Samuel. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. And let's read it. This is sec this is first Samuel two and six. It says the Lord killeth and he maketh alive. See the Lord killeth and he maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So the Lord kills. And these celebrity these celebrities are receiving judgment from the Heavenly Father. Alright? Because the Lord is intensifying his judgment. Alright? The Lord is intensifying his judgment. Deuteronomy thirty two and thirty nine. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. So you can't escape the judgment of the Heavenly Father. You can't escape the judgment of the Lord, man. All right. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Because, again, you don't live on your own fucking time in this mortal body. Salakia. You don't live your own time in this mortal body. You on the Lord's time. You're not on your own time. All right, because you got a lot of jakes that get in this life, in this mortal body, and they believe they got all the time in the world to do whatever they want. You're not on your own fucking time. You're on the Lord's time. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Lord is in control of life, good, death, and evil. The Lord is in control of good and evil. Satan is just an angelic tool used by the Heavenly Father to do his will. All right, and all Satan does is fuck with us. He'll fuck with us in our faith. He'll hop on our kids. He'll hop on our wives. If you have a wife, he'll hop on your wife. He'll hop on his. He'll hop on your wife. If you have a what? A woman. He'll hop on your woman to bug her out, just to stir up, just to stir up something. That's what Satan does. The Satan is just an angelic tool used by the Heavenly Father to fuck with us in this mortal body. He'll fuck with your thoughts. You know, he'll 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 just. Do things what he'll just do things to try you because the Lord will send Satan after you. All right. And we the, the elders of the Great Millstone, you know, on down. But it's been saying this. All right. Satan, he doesn't do anything. He just follows the instructions of the Heavenly Father. And the Lord will send Satan after you. The Lord sends Satan after you. And he'll come and mess with you. He'll mess with your mind. He'll put you in the, all these different moods. You know, he'll just fuck your day up. You know. That's why you got to ask the Lord. You got to cry out to the Lord and ask the Lord to deliver you out of that situation. All right. This is Proverbs 6, 16 and 4. So Satan does, is in, isn't in control of nothing. All right. He's in total order. Yahweh Shai even has Satan in order. He ain't up there fighting and setting up wars and fighting Michael the archangel and fighting Rafa. He ain't doing all that, man. He's in total. Satan is in total order. He knows. He knows his order, man. The Lord has him in order. Order. Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, The Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The Lord has the Lord is in control of all things, good and evil. Alright? The Lord has everything under control. The Lord has everything under his thumb. Alright? So you can't you can't escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Basically, Cuyo died. Alright, the Lord took him out of here. Alright. Now his spirit is back in the spiritual realm and he's at rest. All right. And that many of these other celebrities as well. All right. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life 
that both thou and I see may live, right? Because the Lord is in control of good and evil. He's in control of life, good, death, and evil. The Lord is in control of that, all right? Everything is established through the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Everything is established of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The Lord is in control of all things. Isaiah 45 and 5, see? I am the Lord. Anytime you see Lord in caps, it's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It says, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird of thee, though thou hast not known me. Verse 6, it says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. See? that We only have one true power. That is Yahweh. There's no other power out there. It says, verse 7, I form light and create darkness. See, the Lord form light. And create darkness. I make peace. See, the Lord make peace and create evil. The Lord create evil. He creates peace and evil. He created life, death, all right, good and evil. It says, I love, it says, so like it says, I the Lord do all these things. So like it, see? So the Lord does all these things. By Coolio by Coolio dying, that was the Lord taking him out of here, man. The Lord took him out, all right? And, and these other, it's not even just him, it's these other rappers too, and celebrities and people that die. The Lord takes them out of here. However you die on this earth, that's the Lord's judgment. All right? So, hey, man, this is why, again, you're not on your own fucking time in this mortal body. All right? You're, this body is even loaned to you. Your body is on this body that you're that you're in right now is, is, on, is on a time limit. All right? So you don't know how short your time is on this, in this mortal body or how long this mortal body is. But you're on a time limit in your own fucking body. That's why that's why the that's why we were to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Just public paraphrasing, because you have to take care of this body. All right, whatever this is, you know, kind of off subject a little bit, but whatever you consume into this body, all right, you're also damaging your temple. All right, because your body is not even your body. Your 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 body is loaned to you. The Lord loaned you this body, so you gotta take care of it. You gotta you gotta follow the instructions given in the scriptures. You want to please the Lord. But all these celebrities, they get caught up in the, in the in the in the fast life. They get caught up in the riches here. They get caught up in all these other things and not doing nothing for the Lord. And Coolio has nothing to show to the Lord. All right, all these rappers and celebrities, they don't have nothing to show for the Lord. They did all the worldly things. So now Coolio's gone. And he's in the spiritual realm. He's gonna you're gonna see him in the kingdom. You know we're gonna see all these celebrities from Michael Jackson, DMX, all these celebrities, man. We're going to see them in the kingdom, but they're going to be ashamed because they didn't do nothing for the Lord. They did more for the world than they did the Lord. All right. They didn't do nothing for the Lord. They didn't show nothing for the Lord. So, hey, man, Lord, one is that satisfying. So, again, man, your 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 time is on a time clock, even mine's. So it's good to when you're in this truth. It's good to be embedded in the truth. All right. Continually seeking the Lord and doing his will, man. So, hey. Low one is that's that a fine? I just wanted to do a quick hitter on this. All right. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Mahavah Kakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. So, hey, man, Coolio is gone. All right. He's back in the spiritual realm. And, um, yeah, man, you are on spare time. All of us are. All right. So, you know, you're in this truth. It's a blessing. Continually teach and do the works. If you are an Israelite man and Lord one is that's edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.